Yo, good morning, bro. What are you saying? Yo, check this out. Fucking, back in the day, bro, I, like, I told you when I came to Canada, I was a straight-A student, you know? And uh, I had a buddy that lived next door to me. His name was Troy. We used to play soccer and shit, and uh, this guy was a straight-A student in the English class. I was a straight-A student in, in, uh, in the French immersion class and shit. And fucking, I was my boy for, for a long time in elementary school and shit. Anyways, after that, I haven't seen him. And uh, I was in jail for a couple of years because my foster dad tried to kill me in my sleep. The 350-pound fucking piece of shit child abuser. And the, him and the piece of shit police made up a story. Just like this summer. That's what they do. They're a bunch of pieces of shit. bunch of racist piece of shit rednecks. And uh, anyway, so I was in jail for a couple of years now. A uh, year and a half, whatever it was. I came back out. And then... Uh, when I got in, when I went, when I, they take, I didn't go there. They took me, I didn't go to jail. They took me there by force, be on lies. You know what I'm saying? Same way on this summer. Took me, I was handicapped. I called for ambulance. These pieces of shit made up lies tonight. They're pieces of shit, bro. Fuck you racist piece of shit rednecks. Fuck your mothers. Come threaten me now, bro. See how you get fucked in your throat. You fucking piece of shit racist fucks that like to threaten fucking, fucking handicapped taxpayers. Come threaten a, a fucking taxpayer when he's not handicapped. See how it goes down, faggot. But anyways, watch this now. So. So, but when I got, when they took me there by force, I was 57 pounds at 15 years old. So I, when I got out, I was 130 pounds. But when I, when they took me there, I was 57 fucking pounds, bro. Okay. So my boy, he, he was like 150 or something. So when I come up, when I got out of jail now, we're almost like the same size. He might still be 10, 20 pounds more than me. But when I, when he took me there, he knows I was 50 pounds. So he's like, yo, how the fuck did you survive? You know, how the fuck did you make it? And I showed him, bro, I'm banging everybody's fucking heads in. You know what I'm saying? And he's like, yo, and he's like, yo, bro, I don't know how you did that, bro, because I am I was like, like, now now we're the same size, but back then, he's like, yo, I was like, he's like, you were like, you know, I was like twice your size, so you were 50 pounds, 57 pounds. He's like, one thing, he's like, I, even if they took me in there at 130, I I, wouldn't, I probably wouldn't have made it. Then I would have been fucking on the PC range or who knows what, bro, I'd be scared to death. That's what my boy showed me, you know? He, he wasn't a gangster, though, he was, he's just a regular guy, and that's what I'm, I'm trying to show you. Be like you don't have to be against you. Don't have to, yo, be a real human, bro. Be a real human and know who the fuck you are. You understand me? Know who the fuck you are before you put yourself in positions where, where you're not who you think you are. Like, yeah, and yo, you see other guys like, yo, oh, I'm a pussy and I wouldn't make it. Yo, I respect him a lot more because he's being real with it. That's called being a real human. He's not... He, you know what I mean? He's being honest with himself. You know what I mean? And, and better you be honest with yourself and everybody than you tell people whatever the fuck and then you end up in these situations and then you betray everybody and all that shit. But after you told hey, your gas or this, that, then you go and you tell on the whole gang and this and that. You know what I'm saying? So be a fucking real human, bro. And I know this world's up. These guys are fucking losers. They, they, they know it all fucking. They know everything. And they like to categorize everybody. Oh, this means that. This means that. Therefore. Therefore. They're all, oh, he's a millennial. He's a baby boomer. He's a this. He's a wigger. He's a nigger. He's a spick. I know it all. Du, du, du. Like, these are, they're all retards here, bro. There's fucking special ed. Re oh, he's a conspiracy theorist. He's a conspiracy theorist. You guys are just retards, bro. They're stupid, retarded program robots. You know? Television programming. Tell a vision. It tells you a vision, programming, and it programs you. They're all, they're all program robots, bro. You understand me? So, a bunch of program robots that have it all figured out. But, yo, don't be like these fucking robots, bro, and be honest with yourself. You don't need to prove yourself to nobody. You need to prove yourself to yourself and find out who you are for yourself, not for this guy, for, for you. So, you know who you the fuck you are. And, and then, be honest about it. And then, in a situation, no, that's not for me. I know in this situation, I couldn't do it. Or that, and then, you know what I mean? You don't put yourself in that. You know what I'm saying? And people, you know, people will respect you more, bro. I'll tell you right now, like, you see how I told you, like, I respect the guy. Like, I respect, he's like, yo, I'm a pussy. I can handle it, this and that. He, but he knows that. And he's in school and he does because he knows who he is and he goes on the path that he belongs. He, he, I respect that more than a piece of shit. Like, faggot, your boyfriend, 69, running, oh, I'm a gangster killer, this, that, and all of us. He tells on like, no one's going to respect you like that, bro. Just be true. You, you get more respect, bro, being an honest pussy than being a lying piece of shit pussy. Because you're still a pussy, bro. But one's a lying piece of shit. I pretend he's a gangster killer. The other guy, at least he was honest about. People are going to respect you when you're honest, bro. I'm the most honest motherfucker. These faggots are talking shit. But anybody that talks to me, yo, you see, yo, this, there's no way this guy's lying. I don't fucking lie, bro. Lines for the weak and the scared. And uh, I haven't been weak since I've been facing painkillers since I was three years old with no chance to win, bro. A nigga that's weak is not going outside against painkillers at three.